So a lot of us like to use Gmail um, to manage our email accounts, specifically like our personal email addresses like mine, help at ultimatewphelp.com. And Google has changed how those now integrate with our servers, with every server, not just ours. We're not that special. Um, so in some cases, you might have to re-authenticate if you have previously followed my Gmail directions of how to connect your account to Gmail. This will require knowing your cPanel and or your email address passwords that we've issued through your hosting if, um, if you're with our hosting or any other. So if you're on our hosting, we have all of your passwords. Just let us know and we can send that information to you securely. Okay, so if you've ever connected to Google before, this is how you do it. You go over to settings over here on the right hand side. Once you click on that, click on settings and then along the top here accounts and import. And you'll see all of these email addresses that we have here. So notice the difference here. Mail is sent through versus these that had previously been connected. I have been sending emails through these before. Those still work, however, certain things like the reply address and um, others may or may not work. So Google is now recommending that you reconnect these to your server. If you don't, again, you'll still, you will most likely be fine. But if you're experiencing any issues, we know that sending and receiving through our server is reliable. So let me walk you through if I was to do this with my Say Hi. So I go into Edit Info. I already have it here. I can always add another email address and the steps are very similar. So Edit Info and that pops up. That's fine. Okay, and then configure your mail to be sent through. So these settings are actually in your cPanel. So if you go to cPanel, and you click on email accounts and you look at your email, you'll see over here this more box. And if I click on that and, and check configure email client and scroll down, you'll see these instructions right here. So you'll see we have a specific configuration for mail.ultimatewphelp.com. So the username you can see it right here. The username is actually the full email address. And then the password is the email account's password. In some cases, this section right here might say, use the cPanel account password. And that's basically because that email address is the prime email address on the account. Okay. Okay, so a couple of different things. This needs to say mail. The port needs to be changed, so in this case it's 465. And the password needs to be correct. So I've got an easy workaround to doing that, just in case you forgot your password. You just go back into here, click on change your password and change it. And then that way you know that is the correct one. So again, the SMTP server is mail.ultimatewphelp. Username is your full email address and the password is, if it's the primary one, it's the same as your cPanel. If it's not, there is a specific password, but no matter what, you can go in and change these right here in your cPanel. Okay, the secure connection SSL and then click on Save Changes. And once the window closes, you're all set. It doesn't really give you a confirmation or anything like that. But if I was to go into here, you'll now see that it says mail is sent through. Okay, so it's as simple as that. And if it's not working, obviously, and you go to send some emails, you'll know. And
Okay, so I sent it, and because it's forwarded to my Gmail, that it's sent right here. Okay, so I sent it from yes at I run on coffee to Jill says at Gmail, and now I'm going to reply. And here's the reply, sent from Jill Sessa. Okay, so one of the um, quirks that we're finding is that even if you have your settings so that the there's a setting right here under accounts and import that when replying to a message reply from the same address the message was sent to okay even if you have that checked and I've actually put in a note to um, Google about this because even if you have that checked sometimes Okay, you'll see here it's from yes at I run on coffee and it's mailed by I run on coffee. And you'll see here that this is mailed by Gmail. You have to make sure You have to make sure when you're replying, okay, that your to and your from match what you want it to be. Okay, this should be the same where it was sent, but it might not be, and it just seems to be a little bit of a quirk, and you know, it's technology, it's not always going to be perfect. So you just want to make sure that you have that um, if, you know, if that's something that you're very concerned about, you want to make sure that that matches your email. So I hope that that helps you set up your Gmail accounts or reset them up as the case may be. And of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out for help.